Hi parents and children, we are come to the end of the month of April and we have already gone through a few weeks of staying at home and doing your home-based learning. Parents, I hope that the time would have been a fruitful one for you, uh, even as you spend more time with your children at home. This time really brings me back to the account of the Israelites when they were also going through uh, changes in their country, changes in things that was happening to them. And if you read through the accounts in Exodus, in Deuteronomy, the children were always part of all things that was going on. And it was not just part of the moving, the shifting, the eating, but there were many, many lessons that was being taught to them. The children was involved in all of the spiritual things that was going on as the scriptures were being read to the adults, uh, do you notice that the children was part of that process? So it is my prayer that even as you spend much time with your children at home trying to get organized and wondering what to do with them, uh, that there will be many, many moments where you are able to point them to God, many moments where you are able to learn small things about God and to keep talking about God and explaining to them that while we may not understand fully uh, what is going on and how long more this is going to take, but we can be assured that God is in control and we can trust that God is the one that will see us through. So I, my prayer for you is that you will be blessed, you will stay strong even as we go through this together. Now a quick update as to what is going to happen subsequently. Today is the last week of uh, April. So beginning May, all of the KFC lessons will come through the various KFC teachers. So we are not going to go online anymore, but through uh, the WhatsApp, through the WhatsApp broadcast, uh, you will still continue to get uh, the lessons. Okay? So the teachers are all preparing the lessons. It will come in various forms some with video teaching, some as a document, some may even want to zoom in with you and your children to have a zoom lesson. So listen out to and listen out for the WhatsApp messages that's going to come through your teachers, all right? Now, if by now you still have not at least have received one uh, WhatsApp message or a broadcast message from any of the KFC teachers, it most likely would mean you have not registered your child with us. Registering with us means you would have filled up the KFC registration form. Right? That's how we are connecting with each one of you. So if you have not received any broadcast message or a WhatsApp message by now, please drop me an email so that we can send you the registration form and the respective teachers can connect with you. All right? Now, in order to also receive uh, the teacher's broadcast message, please make sure that you have saved the teacher's number into your handphone, all right? Otherwise, you will not be able to receive that message from them also. Okay, so beginning May, all the lessons are going to come through. The WhatsApp is going to come through uh, your teachers, the respective KFC teachers. It's not going to be online anymore. Uh, but lessons will still continue, all right? And then we'll update again as things progresses and things changes. So till then, stay tuned and continue to explore and learn more about God. Hi children, welcome back to KSC Online. I hope you have enjoyed our worship and the Bible lessons online so far. Now, before we start today's um, lesson and worship, Let's pray first. Let's put our hands together, bring posture, close our eyes, and let's talk to God. Thank you, God, for gathering us in this manner at each of, our, each of our homes that we can continue to worship you, praise you, and listen to your words. So may you be with us right now. As help us to open up our mouths to sing praises unto you, for you love us so much. So we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now children, if you could remember a few weeks ago, the teachers taught you about God's creation. 
Now, today we want to learn that we, human beings, boys and girls, men and women, are all made by God. And each and every one is made special and unique in its own image. Now, that is how God loved us. And we want to praise Him for what He has done for us. So children, let's stand up and worship God with our voices. And we do the actions together for this first song, God Made Me. book it says that God made me God loves me God loves me in my Bible book it says that God Yes, well done children. Now, God has created many things. The trees, the flowers, the seas, the mountains. Animals, many, many animals. And I'm sure if all the animals can talk, they will sing praises unto God too. So we, we have special, we are special. We have mouth, we can sing praises unto God. So now, let's sing the next song, the butterfly song. Thank 
you, children. Now let's thank God for making us. Thank you, Father. We want to thank you for making every one of us special, even the animals. And you make us unique and special in our own ways. For you love us, you love us so much. And we want to say to you, Lord, that we love you too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now, children, let's praise the Lord and thank Him for loving us. We want to love Him too. Touch your finger to your nose Then from the waist way down and touch your toes And when you come up slowly start to sing And say to the Lord I love you I love you, I love you Say to the Lord I love you I love you, I love you Say to the Lord I love you Reach your hands up to the sky Look to the left and right and blink your eyes And when you turn around you to the Lord I love you I love you I love you Say to the Lord I love you I love you I love you Say to the Lord I love you Touch your finger to your nose Then from the waist way down and touch your toes children. I hope you enjoy worship so far. So now let's pray before we go into the Bible lesson for today. Thank you God for making us. Thank you that you love us and help us to concentrate and to have an opening ears, a teachable heart as we go for our Bible lesson today. May you teach us um, what you want us to learn. And we pray that the children will pay attention to you, to the teachers. We thank you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now children, please get ready, sit down, and listen to the Bible lesson. Hi children, welcome back to KFC Online again. Did you enjoy your worship just now? Do you enjoy worshipping God? Okay children, shall we pray before we start? Okay, praying posture. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together. We pray that you will help us to be teachable, to learn of your word, to know you more, and help the children to be attentive. In Jesus' name we pray, God's children say, Amen. Okay, children, now I want you to... Can you remember uh, about the God's creation lesson a few weeks ago? Remember, we have learned that God made something, right? Can you try to remember what God had made? Now, if you can remember, tell the person next to you what did God make. But if you don't remember, don't worry. We will go through the story once again before we start the new lesson. Shall we do that? Okay. Now, are you ready to start? Okay. One, two, three. Can you remember? God made plants. That's right. Who can spot a yellow flower? Can you point to the yellow flower? That's right. God also, oh, children, God make plants that gives food, isn't it? Can you point to a carrot? That 
That's right. Carrot. Okay, what else got made? God make birds. Birds that fly across the sky. God also made sea animals. Can you spot an octopus? It's right at the corner here. God also made land animals like the bear, the rhino, the monkey. I want you to spot a rabbit. Can you see it? Right there. Good job. Now, children, God looked at everything He had made and saw that it was good. But did you see the red circle there? There's still something God haven't made, right? So we're going to find out. God wasn't finished yet. He still had something special to create. So today's lesson, we're going to find out what is that special creation. Keep watching. Are you ready to find out? Ready? One, two, three. Now, this special creation did not live in the sea. So, it wasn't a fish. It did not fly or have wings. So, it wasn't a bird. It did not say nay. So, it wasn't a horse. So, what was God's special creation? Hmm, let's look for clues. Ah, look at this picture. What do you think this is? Look closely. This special creation had two eyes to see the beautiful creation God had made. Look at this picture. What's that? This, this special creation had one nose to smell the beautiful flowers God had created. Next clue. Can you guess what's this? Look straight into the photo. This special creation had one mouth to eat the fruits that God had provided. More clues? Look at the picture. Can you guess what's that? This special creation had two ears to hear. To hear the birds singing and the animals of the sound. This special creation had two legs to jump and run. And one more clue for you. What's this? This special creation had two hands to play, to touch, to hold, to make things. Can you guess what was God's special creation? Let me help you once again. We're going to look through all that we have discussed just now. This special creation had two eyes, one mouth, one nose, two ears, two legs, and two hands. What do you think it is? That's right, people. God made people. Can you repeat after me? Everybody say, God make people. God make people just like you and me, like your mommy and daddy, your grandpa and your grandma, your uncles and aunties, your brothers and sisters, isn't it? So God make people. Now, children, do you know why we are so special? Because we can think and we can talk. 
unlike animals. Can animals talk? They don't, right? But we can talk and we can think. So that's why we are very special. Now, the Bible says that God made the first person and God called him Adam. God gave Adam an important job. Adam named all the animals and all the birds. But Adam was lonely. He needed someone to be his helper. So God made a woman. Adam named her Eve. So God made Adam and Eve. Can you point to me where is Adam and Eve in this picture? Did you find it? That's right, over there. Okay, God saw everything he had made and it was very good. See, look at all the creations God had made. So God say it was very good. Okay, children, now that you have listened to the Bible story, it's time to ask you some question. Are you ready for some question? Ready? First question. What was God's special creation? Is it a car? Or is it people? Can you point to the answer? Yes, it's people. Second question. What was the name of the man God made? Is his name Apple or Adam? Point to the answer. That's right. It's Adam. Question number three. Who made people? Is it man or is it God? Well done, children. God made people. So clever. Okay. Now, children, we are going, I'm going to, I uh, want you to listen to this song and try to find out what was God's creation as you listen to this song. All right? Enjoy the song. So, can you tell me 
What was God's special creation? Is it people? That's right, you and me. So look at this picture on the screen and say together with me, we are God's special creation. Now remember, you and me, we are all God's special creation. Okay, children, it's time for memory verse. The memory verse for today is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. I want you to repeat after me. Okay, we'll do it together slowly. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. Everything God created is good. One more time. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. Everything God created is good. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. Okay, children, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Let's close in prayer. Praying posture, please. Put your hands together, close your eyes and bow your head. Dear God, we thank you for being a wonderful God that has made us. That you have made us so special. Thank you for loving us. Lord, may you help all the children to grow up strong and healthy, to continue to learn of you and to know more of you. Lord, indeed, you have made us so special and we are so thankful. In Jesus' name we pray, God's children say, Amen. Okay, children, I have to uh, let you know that there are some worksheets attached in the link. So, uh, toddler and nursery worksheet will look something like this. The kindy worksheet will look something like this. So, there will be instructions all in the worksheets. So, do click the link and uh, print out for your children to enjoy and to learn more. Okay, it's time to say goodbye, children. I'll see you again. Bye.